Uh, hi, my name is Josh Trett. Um, I'm going to be talking about a short film uh, I shot in 2015. We finished it uh, in the very early days of 2016. Uh, I've called this a long introduction to a short film, uh, but it won't be too long. I'm going to start off by playing the trailer, and then I'll just talk about some obstacles uh, we faced when we made it. It is my honor to stand before you today to announce my bid to become your next Prime Minister after the next coming election. We're becoming obsessed with acting like some sort of vigilante towards Montag. Whitley won't touch this stuff, George. It won't print. Seems we have a problem. All we ask is that you stop. Drop it entirely. Otherwise, we will be forced to take further action. Uh, okay, so I'll start off at where the idea came from. Um, some people in that picture, people who have seen the film, have made a lot of comparisons to the characters in the film uh, to the ones in those images there. Uh, so as well as a filmmaker, I work as a teacher at East Norfolk uh, Sixth Form College, and I teach film production, and I'm teaching 16 to 18-year-olds. Uh, and last year was a time uh, when the general election was happening, and there was lots of stuff in the news. Um, students were voting for the first time, uh, and I was voting for the first time as well. Um, so I was hearing all this stuff in the news, and they were hearing all this stuff in the news, and they had questions for me. Uh, and as their teacher, I felt frustrated not having the answers for them, and I, from everything we were seeing, all these different stories, all these different sides. Um, and that's where the idea came from, really. Two of the biggest um, obstacles uh, we faced when making this film was casting and, and budget. Um, we had a little higher than Andy's. We, I made this for about £500, um, and it was all self-funded. Um, but even with 500 pounds, and it's quite an ambitious idea, and we had all these different locations and different scenes I wanted to get in, um, I originally reached out to get actors from London, and I approached actors who I'd um, written the scenes for in mind, but they declined. Um, so I ended up casting sort of friends and friends of friends in a lot of the main roles. Um, so the character, the actor who plays uh, Montag, who's the, who's the guy who's applying to be Prime Minister at the start, he wasn't the original actor I had in mind for that. I'd reached out to someone else, and two days before we started shooting the, the big press conference scene in the theater, uh, there was a storm, uh, and he did something and hurt his foot. Um, I had to call up John two days before and say, here's what's going on. Can you please do this role? And he was more than happy to do it. But that's the kind of, I mean, you can plan, you can plan, you can plan to make a film, but when a storm happens and someone breaks their foot, that's out of your control as a filmmaker. Um, and that's the kind of thing we had to sort of improvise with. And as I said, we cast a lot of friends. Um, so, locations are something I was really sort of keen to get right in this film, um, and that's where probably about half the budget went. Half the budget was on locations, um, and the other half was on actors. Uh, so we shot very fast to keep uh, costs low, so we'd, we'd shoot scenes in half an hour, in an hour, just so we could get in and out and not have to pay a huge amount. Some locations were free. Uh, a lot of the street scenes, we just sort of... Uh, hit a corner and filmed them that way. Sometimes people come up and were interested, and sometimes people just wouldn't care and carry on, which looked better on film. Uh, and I've always uh, lived in Norwich, and because I know the area so well, I, could, I knew places that would look good on film, and I could shoot them uh, in such a way that gave it a real cinematic edge uh, and, and gave the film something special. Uh, so we filmed, there's a scene we filmed in the Guildhorn, and an idea of uh, sort of how we had to keep budgets down. They, I said, how much would it cost for us to shoot a scene in here for how long? And they said, well, you can have a half an hour for free, but anything over would be like, there's like 50 pounds or 100 pounds. I was like, well, well, we'll shoot it in half an hour then. Um, <laughs> and we, had, we, we got in there, we shot two scenes, because there's a scene at the start of the film uh, where, the, where the prime minister <coughs> is suiting up, and another scene where he makes a phone call, and we got in and out of there and shot it really quick. Cool, uh, so then we finished the film. Uh, picture on the left there is from when we uh, had a sort of premiere at the Forum in Norwich uh, back in January. Um, 
it was a film I really tried to push out and get people's attention <laughs> with as much as I can. So uh, there's a little write up there from the EDP. Um, at the end of August uh, was the first time it played at a film festival, so it played at Norwich Radical Film Festival. So that's what those pictures are there. At the bottom is when I went on Mustard TV to talk about it uh, and Radio Norfolk uh, with Stephen Bumphrey at the bottom there as well. Uh, so this is the first film. I've made short films before, but this is the first film I ever submitted to a film festivals. Uh, so that was quite a whole new process to me. So uh, I applied to over 30 film festivals, and I said the budget is 500, 500 pounds. We probably spent another 200 pounds uh, applying to film festivals because some of them, uh, their, their prices vary, but they all start to add up. Uh, and I wasn't sort of ready for the amount of rejections I would get. I work so closely with this film. People say when you make films and you're kind of sort of releasing it, it's putting out your baby. So I wasn't really ready for the amount of rejections I got. But we did get some exceptions. Uh, the other thing I learned is you can't apply blindly to film festivals. Some of them are very, um, they're, they're sort of, they're looking for a certain thing. They might be sci-fi, they might be horror, uh, they might have a certain length. So you can't just load up a film page and apply for this one, this one, and this one. You have to look at what they're looking for and think, is my film right for this? Would they accept it? Uh, and stuff like that. So, so far we've made uh, the Norwich Radical Film Festival. Uh, we've made the Norwich Film Festival, uh, the London Monthly Film Festival, uh, and the UK Monthly Film Festival as well. So, so far we've got four. I'm hoping to get a couple more. Um, I'll be happy. Okay, so what have I learned? Uh, I actually already knew filmmaking is expensive. Um, I was just reminded of that. Same with being with filmmaking. I knew this, but it's difficult. <laughs> um, something I didn't do, but I wish I did, and I think is important, is to uh, rehearse scenes. I think um, I could have got a lot stronger performances and stronger scenes if I'd done a lot more rehearsals, but we just went straight in there and shot the whole thing. So something I'm going to carry on into the next film is, is do a lot more rehearsals. Um, and this is something uh, I learned from uh, a, a lecturer when I was at uni, is a good cast and a good script is essential. You have those things and you can build on from there. And not phone the rest in, but this is sort of the essential uh, scaffolding you need to make, a, to make a good film. Okay, so uh, what's my plan now? I'm going to work on uh, pushing and promoting the film. I want sort of people to see it. I don't want to nag people and spam them with it, but I, I sort of like to push it out a lot. Uh, I'm going to apply to a lot more film festivals, I think. Um, I might see how the current ones I've submitted go, if they get accepted or if they get rejected. Uh, eventually, I'm going to release it online. I might not release it straight on Vimeo, but some sort of on-demand release. Um, and as well as teaching and, and doing these short films, uh, I work as a filmmaker on so corporate videos and promotional stuff, and I want to continue to grow that as, as a business. Um, and I want to produce bigger and better films. This one was. Uh, very ambitious for the budget, I think, and I want to continue to make ambitious films and, and films that are a lot better than this one. Cool, I'm done. Thank you very much.